everybody. In tonight's Omar Vision tutorial, I'm going to go over how to get a jumping animation in my game character. So, for example, here I have my game character, and when I press play, I have already the moving animations for running when this game starts up. Come on, game. There you go. So I have already the moving animation for running if I press forward. And I have an animation for turning. Well, it's not an animation, but I could run and turn. And I just want to add a jump. So right now I have a jump animation that I have gotten from Mixamo, which looks like this, where he jumps up and then comes back down. But I'm having a problem in the game right now because when I press to jump, it goes like this. He actually translates up and then the animation's playing. It's all out of sync. So what I have to do is fix that. So what I'm going to do to fix it, this is the jumping animation right here inside of um, Unity. And I have it displaying over here on the side so we can see it over here too. And we could see the frames playing and um, like the different positions of things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to split this animation into two parts. One's for the jumping up and one's for the coming down. So I'm just going to select this animation file and then I'm going to press Control D to duplicate it. So now I have two of them. Then I'm going to rename this one Jump Up. Okay. Jump Up. And then I'm going to name this one the Jump Down. And let's see if we got this jump up right here. No, this one says jump down. And this one says jumping. All right. I'll fix this. Jump up. Make sure I got two of them. All right. So this one is jump down. And this one is jump up. All right. So now since I split this into two, I just have to fix my animation controller. So I'll double click and open that up. Let me just prop it right here. And I'm running out of screen space. Let me just make this full screen. So here I could see that by default, he's an idle animation. And then when I press the key, he goes to running and not running. So here's where I want to change things with the jumping. I have two jumps. I have a jump up, which will be the animation that's going to play when I press the jump key. So I'll make a transition to it. And then from there, he's going to do a jump down animation at the right time though not always what I want to have it do is when I press the jump key he's gonna jump up so that means right here I could add the um, here a condition I have the jump trigger so I'm gonna add the condition for jump to true well when I press the jump trigger he's gonna jump up and this animation is it should stay there and this one should happen on a trigger of land so let me make a new a new variable called land and then on this one i'm going to put when he lands to actually play this one. So this is up and this is down. And then from there, it could just go back to wherever it was. All right, so whew, let's test out the animation part to see if it works. Let me press play. And then I could kind of control the animations that play with the variables here in the editor window. And I know when he plays, yeah, because he goes to that mode there. All right, so for example, I could put him in running mode running mode please <laughs> why isn't that happening how about if I say jump okay jump up it just plays the whole animation and jump down it plays the whole animation so now what I want to do is I want to make the jump up animation just play the first half and the jump down play the second half so I select the jump up and let's just go through the frames here seeing where the jump up is going to end. So he goes up and I think right about there is going to be where this animation ends. So let me just pull this thing back 
here just before he starts going down and that's that frame right there so this animation for up is going to be this short i shortened it to only play these frames so you see he goes to the up so i'll say apply and then for the down animation let me select down i'll have it start from where he starts coming down after the up so here he's going up and this is about where he starts going down or maybe I could actually make it the landing for when he touches the ground because that's actually what I want to have this play at when I when um, I detect that he touches something that's when I want the landing to start playing so I'm actually going to start from right here see where his feet are touching the ground so I'll say apply okay so now I actually the same animation I just have it playing two different halves this one is just the up part and this one is like when he touches the floor and he lands part boom okay so I have the two separate animations now and I have the animation controller I hope I set it up properly we'll find out in a minute so now I'm gonna go to the script for my um, low poly guy which is here in my assets folder double click and open up the script so let's see what we have in the script it's very short here I get a pointer to the animation controller here I get a pointer to rigid body this is for moving around it's either I'm um, using the up arrow and I move with the run animation or I'm not using the up arrow and I turn off the run animation here's turning which doesn't have an animation to play it just rotates my character and then over here this is the jump so here I go I press the space bar and I have to start the um, the jump trigger to start the jump animation so that animation was again that's this one right here this jump trigger and hey guys you can turn off now sorry so I'll set the jump trigger and I won't do this yet I won't actually do the up what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the jump trigger then I want to have a variable to say is jumping so I'm going to make a private bool is jump is jumping and by default it equals false but right here where I start doing the jumping I'm going to set say is jumping equals true okay so I'm only going to be able to jump when I'm on the ground so I'll say and is jumping equals false over here so I can only jump if I'm not jumping already okay now what's gonna have to happen is after the jump animation um, hits a certain point the jump up animation at a certain point I want it to call a function that I'm gonna have here in my script and the function I'll just give it a public scope so it'll be a public void um, apply jump up force or something like that you know I'll call it apply jump up force and what this will do is this will actually move the jump into the up direction hi Grace what's up sorry my daughter she just walked in the room all right so add relative force so the thing is who's gonna call apply jump up force that's going to be an event on the actual animation which you'll see here I could add events so scroll 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 come on process the script why is things going so slow for me geez Louise it's still processing all right so here I go to low poly guy this is the up animation and let's see what they have here they have events that I could add so I could add an event at any of the um, frames here so let's see which frame I want to actually add something to he squats down let me do it over here he's oh it's just pressing play yeah here we go we could scrub he squats down and then pushes up right there I'm gonna add the jump force so this is right here at this frame I'm gonna add an event and I'll call this um, 
jump force. <laughs> oh, wait. And actually, at the call it, the function that I made inside the script, at the call it, oh, what did I just name this thing? Apply jump up force. Okay, so apply jump up force. And then I have to point it to the object that actually has the function call in it. And I'm not sure, how do I do that? Do I just drag this here? No, it doesn't know what that is, but let me see if I drag the script on it. Bye, Grace. I drag the script on it. So it's going to use the low poly guy script. It's going to call apply jump up force. So let's apply that change. And then here, yeah, okay. So now this stuff should start working for the jumping up. Let's cross our fingers and try it. Press play. So I'm going to press the jump button. Uh-huh. And that works. Now here's the part where he's touching the ground to come down. That's when I want to play the land animation. So what I will do is go back into the script. And I can add um, an event handler for on collision enter with the ground. So I'm going to say private. I'm going to add a void on collision enter. This is one of the mono behavior events since my script is derived off of mono behavior, which interacts with Unity. On collision enter. Oh, I lost the IntelliSense. On collision enter. There we go. Um, what I'll make sure, well, I guess if I touch anything, it's time to land. So on collision enter, I am going to see if I'm jumping. So if is jumping equals true, and I'll have to start my landing actions. So first is jumping is going to equal false again. So I could jump again. Second, I'm going to start the anim dot set trigger for the land, the landing animation to start. And do I have to do anything else? I don't know. Let's see. So let me save this. And now let's see in Unity what happens. Okay. So I press play. I can still run. And if I jump up, Oh, and I didn't land. Oh, it took a while there. It took a while. Why did it pause? I'm not sure. Let's see if I could show the animator here so I could see little bars for the animations and get a clue to what's going on. Actually, let me save my space. I'll just keep it down here, but leave this one focused. So let me get a clue to what's going on here. So I jump up. And why isn't it doing the little blue lines? Let's see. Jump up. Mm, and down. And why does it take a while for the down? This is what I have to figure out. I think it has something to do with the animation controller. Um, so this here, these are the transitions. Let me check your transition from jumping up to jumping down. Now, I know in the code it's going to call it right away. But something's holding it up. Um, it must be this has exit time as check. Let me check that off. That way, immediately when I call the trigger, it will play the next animation. So let's see what happens now. I'm going to press play. I could run. I could jump up. And when I come down, there, that's good. And then I could run again. So there you go. To sum it up, what we did was we split the animation for jumping that I got from Mixamo, it was one animation that went up and down. I split it into two halves. In the first animation, I just took the um, squatting down part, getting ready to jump. This was the first animation. I just took the first half, right? And then I figured out what frame it was I want to go to, and I dragged it to stop at that frame right here. Then in the second animation, the coming down, I scrubbed it till the place where I said he's just about touching the ground, so I moved it there, and then I let it play to the end. With those two different animations, then in my script, I said that when I press the spacebar, immediately play the jump animation. Okay, 
but wait for the event to come off the floor to actually move my player up. And then when I land and I touch the ground, then do the land animation. So adding an event to call apply jump force, I add, add an event to my jump up animation. And the event here in the event section, you could see a little tag here where I added the event. And um, I figured out where to add the tag. I just used a scrubber here till I got to the frame where I said, okay, this is where I want the up force to apply. And then I click this little button here to add the event. And a matter of fact, I could see the event here. I typed in the name of the function from my script, apply jump up force. And then I gave it the pointer to the script where that function was. And it looks like I can pass parameters here if I wanted to, but you know, I didn't use any. I just needed to call a thing. So there you go. That's how I did the jump up thing. 15 minutes on the video. Let's see if he goes up here. Uh. Uh. Okay. Cool. Later.